So I got rid of my P320, which was actually shooting cops in the freaking, uh, it was just going off in people, in, in holsters. Um, there's actually video of, of cops shooting themselves, which again, it's not funny, but it's kind of funny, okay? Can I laugh a little? Uh, but the P320, uh, the one I had, we called him Rick. We just called him Rick. I can't remember why we... Oh, because me and Saucy were watching a lot of Rick and Morty. So we called him Rick. And then we calling the little guy here, the Mother Mary. Which I might change the name to the Mother. Because why not? That's kind of tight. And there's something cold-blooded about having the Mother Mary on, on, on a, a, a tool of death. You know what I mean? You're delivering... <laughs> you're delivering... Uh, uh, you're... De God damn it. You're sanctifying them, right? There's something great about that. Nader Tater, just in time. Uh, so, again, we're going to be going over just my a couple pistolas, and this is for tax purposes. <laughs> I don't think I should say that. Do I say that? Anyways. Anyway, <laughs> Tommy always has a lot to say. Yes, he does. So, going... Uh, so, I had the P320... Which I kind of want to show you guys, the P320 fucking cops up. It's not funny. Again, it's not funny. But it's kind of funny. Uh, I don't want to see cops get shot. I think it's terrible. Mad respect for cops uh, who put their lives on the line. Fucking nothing but disrespect and fucking curses for dirty cops. Dirty cops eat a dick. Uh, okay, but let me see. Uh, 320 um, going off... Oh, by itself. It's fucked up. And so I had to... Um, dozens of cops claim SIG sour handguns fire on their own. And they... <laughs> it's fucked up, dude. It's so fucked up. Uh, but, again... No one died from it. So it's just some injuries. And it's not good. But it's still fine. <laughs> Anyways... Uh, so this is, is supposedly one of America's favorite guns. That's what this this stupid thing... Oh my god, what is going on here? So here it is. This is what I used to have. A this, is, this was Rick. Uh, I like this. It wasn't bad, but... It, um, what I do like about my new... Uh, about the new ones are... Is that it's all aluminum, I think. I'm not even sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm a novice, okay? I'm new to this. <laughs> um, but I got all aluminum because it occurred to me, and I was reading on these um, survivor books, these, like, survivalist books, uh, about how if you do get any kind of plastic-based handguns, that you have to be weary of them in about, um, you know, it's going to be, like, 100 years, but... This will actually break down over time. And so in my head, I'm like, I know I'm not going to make it to 100 years or whatever, but I do want to pass these down to my children and I want them to pass it. If they want to, they can sell it, whatever. I'll be dead. But like if they want to sell, if they want to give it to their children, great. All right. I doubt the barrel is aluminum. I don't know what, yeah, because that would probably melt. I don't, yeah, exactly. Naders, thank you for being here to, to correct my uh, ignorance here because, again, not, I'm pretty new to all this, but I've been, <laughs> been way into it. So, um, this gun right here has, this is the one I had and I got rid of it and I got uh, a all, you know, all alloy, I guess, is that what you call it? Uh, bodies because I just don't want them to degrade over the years and if you take care of your weapons you, you do you know clean it and uh, keep them in dry places that last forever um, so the cases center on the p320 not having external manual safety known as tab trigger uh, attorneys bringing the cases say it is a crucial flaw that makes the gun liable to fire spontaneously with disastrous, disastrous consequences. They say that although nobody has been killed, many have been injured. <clears throat> Excuse me. Those include Ashley Katatow, 35, a single mother of a son 
and an officer in Somerville, Massachusetts Police Department. The 12 year victim, the 12 year veteran was beginning a typical night shift patrol at 4 p.m. to midnight. Sorry, I'm okay. I'm gonna get into this reading shit. <laughs> We're gonna read today in the sector cruiser on uh, April 6, 2022, as the third most senior officer on the block. She parked her car and walked toward her cruiser when I heard a loud bang and felt this sharp pain in my upper thigh. Oh no, that's not good. And hey, Smash or pass? Smash. Um, let me see here. Uh, her immediate thought was, someone has shot me. And I tried to run for cover, and as I started to run, I looked down, and I saw that there was a hole in my pants. But there was nobody trying to gun her down. Instead, she had been wounded from a bullet fired from her holstered service gun, a Sig Sauer P320. I never w would have expected that my own gun would go off and shoot me. The startling episode was captured in black and white video by a police security camera that overlooked the lot. I'd pass on anyone that shoots a... <laughs> You know what? Bet. Nader's bet. But it wasn't necessarily her fault. It, it, it's a design flaw. It really is a design flaw. Like, in, and I've seen some, um, like, you can see some tests that are done on YouTube where, oh, maybe we'll watch one. <laughs> <laughs> sure yeah uh, maybe we'll watch that because they'll take like a, a mallet to it and pound the shit out of it and it just goes off whereas you they did it to a glock and and nothing right and and of course there's always if you're taking a mallet to something and you just keep pounding at it something's bound to happen but still it shouldn't and and it, you know there's more than one person who's getting shot by their own gun <laughs> Um, but, uh, okay, uh, Sergeant Michael Caldwell was 31 with his bachelor's degree in psychology when he went through the police academy in 2009 and joined the Troy, New York Police Department. His uncle was a retired canine officer and always had a great law enforcement stories to tell. Uh, police work was something I was kind of interested in and I decided to give it a shot. What the fuck? Who's like, I kind of interested in like putting my life on the line every fucking day of my life. But like, who's like, I'm kind of, I think, I mean, if you're going to be a cop, you need to be all in, man. Uh, we need good cops. We don't need, we don't need fucking half steppers out on the streets. You know what I mean? Uh, you got to be handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. Uh, as, <laughs> stupid. At the academy, he scored well, even winning an award. Okay. Yeah, we get this. Until June 2nd, 2021, on the range, he was shot like Katatao by his six hour P320. I had it holstered uh, my duty weapon. I had holstered my duty weapon, tucked it away when we heard a pop. We knew it was a gun that went off, and we didn't know if it was another officer participating in the uh, practice range scenario. Uh, the next thing, the firearms instructor who was monitoring looked at me. And said, is that your gun? Are you hit? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is horrible. Uh, I used to carry this fucking thing around too. Uh, I didn't know. And then with disbelief and adrenaline rushing through me, I realized that a bullet kind of came crushing through my leg. Blech! Jesus. Sure enough, there was a hole in my pants. And that's when the reality and panic set in on my part because the hole wasn't there when I started the day. Well, hey. Look at that detective work there. <laughs> Very good. Um, these are just two of 82 cases. And now let me say something here. Six Hour has not ever put out a recall on these weapons. They've only put out a, um, uh, uh, you can send it to the company and they'll update it for free. So I don't know what you call that. But the one that I actually had was already updated. So the one that I bought was already updated with the new firing ping mechanism or whatever the hell is what's wrong with it. And uh, it, it, so it was okay, but still it made me nervous. My buddy was like, dude, you need to get fucking rid of that thing. He's like, get that thing the fuck out of here. So 
um, I did that. I, I sold, I sold, I sold a few items, and I went and bought some, you know, real, fucking, real hardware here. So. Uh, I'm very, very happy with my purchase, and I just want to keep buying more. Uh, unfortunately for my wife, I put 10,000 rounds through my Smith & Wesson M&P 40 cal with no problems. Yeah. Well, there you go. <sighs> there you go. I mean, it's just, uh, it was just poor design. And the thing is about the 320 is that it's being distributed and being, you know, contracted to these police forces. So you have like hundreds of officers out there with this fucked up gun. And it's kind of fucked that SIG would allow this to sort of go on. And of course, nobody wants to issue a recall because that is not, does not reflect kindly on the company, of course. So, but, but there's, I don't care about publicity. It's like safety is paramount when it comes to firearms and so it's kind of fucked up for them to actually fucking you know look the other way in a sense uh but again i i like sig um so i'm not i'm not hating too much but uh <laughs> let's see if we can find some videos um what, what else uh okay hold on Let, let's read through this a little bit more because maybe they'll talk more about like the 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 what's going on here Zimmerman told the Post uh, 40 of his clients are part of a two separate mass actions in New Hampshire where Sig Sauer is headquartered. The other cases are individually filed in state and federal courts throughout the country. Florida, Pennsylvania. Damn. Among those taking legal actions are 10 U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement agents. Jeez. See, look, you know, it, they're, they're given to federal agents and yet... What the fuck? Other lawyers are involved too. Zimmerman said that in total, the litigation involves over 150 incidents of the gun going off. I'd say that's about 150 too much. I don't think I said that the way I wanted to come out. Oh, well, he says something needs to be done immediately before more people are injured or worse. We're calling on SIG to recall the weapon and redesign it to make it safe. And I think that's a fair assessment. Uh, the issue is that SIG uh, Sauer has advertised this gun as a gun that won't fire unless the user wants it to fire. None of my clients wanted this gun to fire. And there's no safety on it. Um, and there's a safety on my, my little 938, which is cool. In my little carry around, um, but there's no safety on the 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 226, which you know, don't be fucking around with guns. I mean, then, then you'll be safe. Like, don't play with them like an asshole. I mean, play with them. It's just like those gun-toting assholes who just fucking are like so fucking um, like just brazen and and ridiculous with them. Like, you'll see them at the range sometimes, and they're just, like, holding the gun. They don't really know what's going on. They just like that. It goes bang, bang, bang. Those are the dangerous assholes that I, I fucking can't stand. They're just holding the gun, turning around. Like, they, they move their whole body and the gun when they're talking to their friends. Like, what'd you say? What? Huh? What? 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 Fucking <laughs> not at my range. Fucking right, natives. And I believe that shit wholeheartedly. Uh, <laughs> we have clients who have had their weapons in their holster without their hands on the holster and it fired. We've had individuals who have had their guns in their holster and touched the back of the gun either to retrieve the weapon or to put it back in the holster and it fired. Zimmerman said the P320 is unique in that Sig Sauer is the only manufacturer making this type of gun without an external manual safety, which we were just talking about. Uh, that device known as a tab trigger needs to be depressed intentionally to make sure the gun can fire. Without that tab being depressed, the gun can't fire. Sig needs to put uh, a tab trigger on this gun to make it feel safe. Now, I will admit, I don't know what that shit means. <laughs> tab triggers, I don't know what that is. But it fucking sounds sweet. Uh, uh, a gun should not fire unless the user wants it to fire. Absolutely. 100% agree, Mr. Zimmerman. Uh, the other issue maintains Zimmerman is that the P320 has an extremely short trigger pull and along with no safety, makes it the most dangerous gun on the market. <laughs> this, was, this was my self, this is my home defense. 
<laughs> just hopefully it just doesn't go off while I'm retrieving it. You know, it doesn't fucking shoot a member of my family before it can do a job properly. Jesus Christ. Six Hour has said the shorter trigger distance is to pr improve accuracy, which I get that, and that's what's so cool about you know the the single or double is that when you when you have the trigger or the hammer pulled back, the it's just such a short distance and a little pull on the gun, and it fucking just you know. Because when you're pulling and there's like seven pounds of pressure that you're pulling on, like when it's not back, when it's not cocked, that's probably about, that's probably about, you know, six, seven pounds of pressure right there. But you can just like take this bitch out as long as there's a round and you can just take it out. There, blah, 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 blah. You don't have to like cock it. You don't have to pull the hammer back. You just go after it. Um, I forgot why I brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> whatever uh let's see oh yeah, yeah yeah because the shorter distance for the trigger the more accurate because you're not pulling pressure and you're not using that pressure to move your hand in just incremental ways to miss the target and then of course when you're shooting that messes up your aim as well so you gotta so it's nice to have like a little bit of pop and it's off it goes which Anybody in this stream knows that it, that's how it works. Anybody who doesn't know anything about guns listening to this or watching this on YouTube or listening to this on uh, the audio end, just know it's tight. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Exactly, exactly. Such an expensive fucking thing, man. Unless you, unless you have a range in your backyard, then, <laughs> then it's fucking uh, not too expensive. But ammo, the price of ammo and eggs these days, what the hell are we going to do? Das Morby! Pew, pew, pew! You got it, girl. What's up, baby boo? Good to see you, Morbs. Hello, Morbies. Welcome to the stream. My name is Stephen Hawking. Take me to your children. I'm, no, I'm, that, that joke is getting terrible. Morbs, thank you so much for being here. We're just, <laughs> we're just talking guns. I'm talking about Gustavo here. You know, just doing shit, baby. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. USA, USA, USA. Fuck yeah, baby. You, US Day, US Day, USA indeed. Uh, but we are, we're talking about, we're trying to, talk about safety in a little bit i the gun that i had was not great shoots up <laughs> at texas that now that that is not good gun safety right there that is no good no bueno no bueno texas guy shooting off like this no bueno um let's see uh coldwell Caldwell told the Post he is lucky to be alive. While he bled profusely from two holes in his leg, Jesus, his brothers in blue applied a tourniquet and tried to keep him calm. They threw me in the back of the police car and rushed to a uh, rendezvous, uh, rushed to a rendezvous with an ambulance that took him to Albany Medical Center. Like, luckily, x-rays show that the trajectory of the bullet... Okay, we, we, we get it. We get it. They shot themselves, and it wasn't their fault, really. Kind of. Movie Dutchman! Movie Dutchman, take me to your children. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> happy shots in the air. <laughs> it's always happy shots. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> moving Dutchman, welcome in. Uh, the married father, uh, let's see, next month will be the second anniversary of being shot. Okay, since her P320 shot her, okay, we don't care what happened to him. She still carries the SIG, but unlike before she was shot, she doesn't keep a bullet in the chamber. Now, here's what sucks about not keeping a bullet in the chamber as a cop. Reaction time is everything, and if a perp is on you, you pulling out a gun out of your holster, you're, you gotta like pull it out and then you have to cog it and then aim and shoot. 
How fast do you think a perp is going to approach you while you're trying to fuck around with your gut? You're dead. You're dead. So you want a hot round in, ch in the chamber, right? You want something ready to go because, especially as a law enforcement, because you are under the bullet every fucking day. Like, you can die every day you go out. By the way, to the Germans, Morby, and, and, and the people in Germany, I should say, uh, fuck yeah, uh, uh, power to the people, fucking the farmers, go ahead, dump more manure on the fucking municipalities and the magistrates, or magistries. Berlin is, ca <laughs> Berlin is captured, is it really? You're lying. Captured by uh, protesters. German farmers protest. <laughs> yes! Yes, we're coming back. We're coming back to this. Fuck yeah, I'd bring my tractor if I could. You're fucking right, man. Stop fucking with people's food. You know? There's only so much you could take. Stop fucking with people. We're coming back to this. We're coming back to this because I want to know more about what's going on right now. Let's, uh, um, so I wanted to show a quick video, uh, of this and then we'll move on because I think I got enough video of me playing with guns to write off my bullets <laughs> from my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, government. Um, all right, let me see here. Uh, 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 I should take this fucking thing to the range. So, was uh, Germany is giving Ukraine eight billion out of their twelve billion? <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> That's really nice of them. How many billions are we giving to them out of our 21 trillion deficit? <laughs> Talk about money laundering. They haven't been shooting up in the air. Oh, it's not happy shoots. Damn it. Uh, let's see. P320 firing test. Uh, yeah, here it is. Look at this. Look at this shit. Put that on the slide. I'm assuming that's an F... So, Go with the SIG P320. I've got my three rounds. Again. I'm put those in. Charge the slide. Watch I'm going to shoot. shoot the first round. Okay, that first round is done. Okay, now I know my second round, my test round, is in there. Yeah. I'm going to try to provide the impact right on the back side of this thing. <laughs> this is so Just funny. like the video did this so is that a... we can see if we can make this thing fire. And I'm keeping the, the trigger guard resting on the table so that I can give it... Uh, how is there a gun without safety? Th there's lots of guns without safety. Um, some people think that safeties are un-American and anti-freedom. <laughs> or, the, I, you know, I don't really know why all guns don't have safeties. Uh, like, Gustavo definitely does not have a safety. But, you know, it's, uh, this one, this one's for home. And, uh, but my 938 has a safety right here. My 40 cal doesn't. Yeah. I mean, just some do and some don't. Maybe Nader's knows why they some things don't have safeties. I, I think it's just a preference thing, honestly. It's just some companies make it, and then if you want a safety, you don't want it. Whatever. Americans pull out. <laughs> don't give a fuck about safety. Let me just tell you that shit. Fuck safety. It's all about rebellion, baby. All right. Uh, I remove. <laughs> <laughs> See, exactly. Then you got people like Nader's who are like, fuck a safety. That shit only gets in the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was a little weirded out when I first got my first gun and it didn't have a safety. I was a little weird about it, but uh, I was definitely, um, uh, definitely enthralled. Uh, enthralled. Okay. Anyways, I was definitely very safe about handling my weapon is what I meant. But at least more force, and I'm not absorbing it by just tr trying to hold it Secret. in my hand. So let's see here. Watch this shit. This is not supposed to happen, by the way. But, I mean, you pound something like this. It, something's bound to happen. But. I'm going to hit it with the plastic end. Okay, Maybe the rubber end's a little too soft. Too soft. Look at it. Wow. At this particular angle, I had a hunch that maybe the gun wasn't receiving the full amount of the force because it was bouncing off the table. So I decided to reposition the gun more on the front of the trigger guard. There you go. 
Okay. <laughs> First time. That made it fire, okay? Yeah, movie does. Man. Let me see if I can do that again, just out of curiosity. It took me several times to do it. So, okay, guys. Uh, so it went off once, and that was hitting it with a hammer. Now, the people who were carrying this gun, it fired by it fucking self. Not a great gun. Do not buy this gun. <laughs> that fucking gun can eat a shit. Uh, I bought the gun, and I got rid of it. This makes me feel like fire, uh, making fire with wood on wood by rubbing it. Yeah, yeah. Now you're talking my language, G. Rub it, rub it. Okay, so he does it to um, the Glock 17. Like we did with the SIG when we actually got it to fire to see. And we're actually going to try to hit this kind of at an unusual angle, kind of like the SIG as well. Table. Look, he's pounding the shit out of it. Nothing happened. also has a similar trigger to the Glock. We got a fan. Let me just, just like say Glock, nothing. Not nothing. To fire unless the trigger is, is pulled. Functioning. Thank you for doing it in rhythm. Ruger, uh, that keep rubbing, man. Really, <laughs> keep be rubbing. Because the gun with the trigger safety working will not fire like this. But anyway, we're going to do it. We said we would, so we're going to do it. Two, three, four. Hammer. This is not going to do it. Springfield. Basically, just beating the gun up. Sorry about that, buddy. You're fucking the gun up. All he's doing is beating the shot with a good gun. I'm going to go with the. Look at it. Diamondback FS9. See, it does fire with the arms cool around Look, in it. Nothing. And here we go with the beat down. Listen, spoiler the... alert. Spoiler alert. None of them fucking fire without the trigger being pulled. Spoiler alert. It's just the SIG P320. So, did people die that gun? No, it did not. People got seriously injured, though. Uh, and not too seriously, but injured enough where they're shooting holes in their pants and bleeding and in their leg it wasn't good so no one died thankfully but the problem that people are having is that there are yeah i agree i agree morby there is nothing what my yeah the p320 sig sour p320 um just like the 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 basic the 550 dollar one it, it, that one is no good no bueno don't want that all these other nine millimeters, he pounds the shit out of them. He's pounding it like a fucking, <laughs> like a hooker on Friday night. All right. He is just in it, baby. Uh, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Pretty close to a major artery. Yeah. It's very unacceptable. And again, uh, the problem that people have is that SIG has refused to do a recall on this weapon because it's contracted to military, it's contracted to the federal government, it's contracted to all these different police departments around the country. So it's uh, it, it would be a big loss, right? It would be a big loss and bad for business. Uh, this is gun safety seminar to the maximum. Listen, I'm not qualified for that, but what I do know, I, I've never shot myself or anybody accidentally, okay? Or anybody ever. I've never shot anybody, all right? I don't, I don't ever want to be, I don't ever want to have to kill anybody. Like that's, you know, I don't ever want to have to do that. That, that sounds horrible, but I'm not going to allow some asshole come up in my shit and try to fuck with me. Not going to happen. Um, oh, well, this, uh, uh, shit's so corrupt. Yeah, I agree. Why not just do voluntary recall? Well, that's, so they did do the, um, you could send it in and then they would replace the part that supposedly is making it fire. So it was a thing that they did to, so they didn't have to do a recall, but it was something where you could send it in and they would fix it for you and send it back. On purpose though, my godfather. <laughs> well, it is on purpose and, it, and that's what makes it so terrible, right? It, that's what's so terrible about SIG is that, is, is that it is on purpose and they aren't, doing shit about it and now it's going into litigation and over 150 people are suing because there's been over 150 incidences incident incidents incidences incidents incidences <laughs> incidents incidents so it is fucked up it really is so let's uh just to drive the the point home i'm i'm not on gun safety but just i want to make sure everything's 
I want to make sure we have enough here. Uh, so this is the gun I have. This is the, the hologram site that uh, is like $400. And uh, so this is sort of the make, and this is what it all is. Uh, I got the Legion. I don't know which one it is, but it's one of them. Uh, the Legion P226 is a finished Siracote. I don't know what that means. Elite Legion gray coating, uh, custom G10 grips with a Legion medallion which I got this, this is so stupid, but I love it. With the Legion, you get to be in the exclusive Legion club or whatever. They give you like this little coin that says Legion and your gun on it. And they give you like a carrying case, which used to be nice, but then they downgrade it. And I, I don't really want it anymore. It's, I'll probably sell it. Um, it's a, uh, oh, let's see. Comes with three magazines, which is nice. I want to get more. Uh, the P226 is DA double action, single action. Includes a reduced and contoured elite beaver tail, which is this thing right here, back here, the beaver tail. Woo! Uh, here, why don't we just hold it up? <laughs> God, I'm such a fucking watt uh let's see uh, uh which allows for a higher grip but a reduced profile thus eliminating printing i don't i don't i don't know what that means i don't know what printing means <laughs> why are you gay um uh, i just love that i just love that african dude asking <laughs> <and> that person <laughs> so ridiculous um let me see. Allows for a higher grip, but reduced profile, thus eliminating printing. More aggressive front strap checkering and additional checkering under the trigger guard enhance the grips. Yeah, so let's not just read that. That sounds boring, but uh, yeah. So there you go. I'm just introducing you guys to the homies, Gustavo, and of course... I might call him, I might call this one the mother. It, it, we were calling it Pickle Rick, but maybe the mother. I like that better. The mother, the mother Mary is on the grips, so I'm 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 delivering stuff. What is that called? Sanct san I'm sanctifying. No. Okay. I I I forgot all my religious terms. Grew up Catholic, forgot everything. Okay, okay. Let's go check out what's going on in Germany because that's pretty cool. Bitch, I don't care about buying all your shit.